I can't think of a freaking intro. Like, I want to go with something that's cool, but not like I'm trying too hard. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to Animal Bokeh. Eh. Eh. What's up, my YouTube people? Love you guys. It's okay. I don't know. But what's up? So today, we're going to talk about budget lenses, getting cheap lenses. Are they worth it? What do I think? What do I know? Why would you even listen to me? I don't know. Let's start with the pros and the cons. For the pros, number one is the price. Lenses, super expensive, especially those really nice ones that get you all that A1 bokeh. And when it comes to cheap lenses, you're literally paying like one, you know, tiny little fraction of what you're gonna pay for these amazing lenses. You ready? What are you doing? Come here, man. Smile. All right, guys, so I'm here with my best assistant who's gonna help me show you the quality of these lenses. Why vintage and budget lenses are amazing. Yeah, check it out, enjoy. All right, get out of here, man. Where did things go wrong? Life feeling like an empty void, a journey without a destination. Thinking of a simpler time is the only thing that brings me peace. But now, I'm just a plastic bag floating around. Shout out Katy Perry. But you know what? Just look around. There's life. There's happiness. There's endless opportunity. Maybe it's not about the destination, but where the journey takes you. Bars. But sometimes you just have to dance like no one is watching. Pierre. All right, guys, so at the end of the day, I can say all I want. The footage speaks for itself. And would I recommend vintage or budget lenses? Yeah, hell yeah. I would honestly say get you one. Use it for a lot of stuff. See how it grades, see how it shoots. And then in the meantime, just like do your research on those other budget lenses and see how you like them. Cause before you know it, you're gonna have like 10 lenses and then you're not even using them, which is what I do. I don't recommend it. Cause then they're just taking up space and I don't like clutter. All right, so yeah, so the pros are, they're cheap, amazing image quality. It's so worth the money. And honestly, it's like, it's kind of cool that you can get a lens that's like stood the test of time. You know, it's like, I guess for me that's cool because I haven't been into cameras, you know, for very long and it's like pretty dope when it's like, um, like you get something and it's like, damn, this is like, who knows what this, this thing has seen, man, since like the 70s or 60s or whatever. And it's just like, um, you know, film and digital, like it's, it's cool. I don't know. It's cool to me. And I would say the cons are you just don't know what those vintage lenses have been. To speak on the pros and cons of lenses that are like, you can buy brand new for like 50, 70, 150, 200 bucks. There's definitely some solid, solid lenses you can get for that amount of money. Um, some of them, the really, really cheap ones that are kind of low key, I don't know. You're gonna have to take your chance, man. And that's why I just do your research. Let somebody else buy them and do a video on them. You know, if you want, check out my Per Gear lens video. Anyway, so what is your cheapest lens? What is your most expensive lens? I want to know. I'm super freaking curious, bro. I want to know. And um, yeah, drop it in the comments. What do you think about vintage lenses? What do you think of those cheap lenses? What do you think of really expensive lenses? Do you feel like they're worth it? Let me know in the comments. What's your cheapest lens? What's your most expensive one? Um, yeah.
I think that's it. Catch y'all next time. Peace.